We are group six, aka the lost puppies, and this is the management decision making slide that we'll be presenting. So, an on duty Confederate soldier walks into a bar. What's going on in the bartender's head? Let's pause and find out. Frame one should be a picture of the soldier walking in the bar with only bartender there. The bartender is taken off guard by the soldier walking in. What should he do? He must use the eight-step process of decision-making to come to a solution. Step one, identification of a problem. The bartender realizes that the soldier is on duty and should be on the battlefield, not in his saloon. Step two, identification of decision criteria. The bartender needs business, but is wondering how desperate he is. Step three, allocation of weights to a criteria. The bartender puts his need for money at the top of his list. Step four, development of alternatives. The bartender knows he could let it slide and allow the soldiers to stay. He could alert the sheriff, lock the door to keep people from seeing, or he could tell the soldier to leave. Step five, analysis of alternatives. He, he could let it slide and make money. He could alert the sheriff to be a good citizen. He could lock the door to prevent anyone from seeing what's going on. Or he could tell the soldier to leave, the easiest alternative, but no money is gained. Step six, selection of an alternative. He decides to make money. Step seven, implementation of the alternative. Bartender asks the soldier, what can I get you? And step eight, evaluation of decision effectiveness. The bartender was working towards his goal of making money and being successful but was it the best decision? He made two decision-making errors. One, he had selective perception. He doesn't seem to mind that a soldier has a duty to be elsewhere and decides to be biased and let it slide due to the fact that he was a paying customer in his saloon. And number two is he was self-serving. The bartender only has his best interests at heart. He thinks of only his benefit and how he could gain by serving the on-duty soldier.